I don't have a lot more to say. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to feel free to ask me. I think I've sort of covered most everything. But, yeah. Yes. Can you tell me your technique and, and what medium? I understand it's oil, but it's really on top. And no. do you use brushes or? Yeah, it's actually the, the underpainting is what the acrylic is. And maybe this is, you know, the, the darkest part is acrylic, which is the underpainting. And then the line work, the kind of the movement is, um, is oil. So it's acrylic. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do acrylic over oil because that wouldn't work in terms of permanence. And yeah, so yeah, it's acrylic over oil. I mean, oil over acrylic. Oh, yeah. I have a couple of questions. First, can you tell us uh, more about the residency in Ireland? And then, second, can you give us some more the context of paintings? And I'm looking at these, and I'm wondering about painters like Mata or Kwambli. Mm. Director, maybe, mm. maybe not that at all. Yeah. Uh, well, the the first part of it, the the residency is called Bellin Glen. Oh, Bellin Glen. Uh, I guess it should be called Ballycastle, and but Bellin Glen is a small town near Ballycastle. I think that's why I named it. It was. I was there for three months but then they extended it to four months, so, which was great. Um, and it was great. I had a small cottage, just literally 10 minute walk outside of town and my studio was in the small studio in, in town. Um, the great thing about it, and this was all, <laughs> this also happened, uh, I mean, it fit kind of my demeanor. There was supposed to be four of us and in the beginning, for whatever, like one person didn't come, one per, for whatever, three people did not come. So for the first couple of months, I was there alone. And it was very strange because the town basically shut down around two or three in the afternoon and there was just nothing going. So it was just kind of me in this empty building with the studios and walking home at night. So it was, it was kind of great actually. No, but it, but it was also great when the artist finally did show up then. You know, that was also nice. But as far as artists, the artists you've named, I'm, I'm a vast uh, admirer of them. Um, Twombly, someone that I think is, uh, I, I think about like really early on. I, uh, it really impacted me when I was a student, like way early, when I first was, you know, thinking about painting. And um, it's someone that I couldn't quite make sense of, you know, and, uh, and it, it intrigued me and I, I was, you know. So Tomley's definitely someone that I, you know, that I like, I, uh, as is Pollock and, yeah, Mata and uh, Gerhard Richter. I mean, I love the work, especially the grays, the gray work. And someone, and I'm so bad about this, but someone was telling me that he actually wrote a book on gray, on like gray, on grayness and gray and the whole idea behind gray, which I need to read. So I'll be better informed the next time uh, about gray. But I don't mind because I'm forming my own, you know, my own, finding my own way through that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been seeing their work for a long time and yeah. Um, Oil? Oil paint. So it doesn't yeah. have to dry before you put your next layer on. Because the oil paint. So it doesn't yeah. have to dry before you put your next layer. Hang on. Uh, I mean, or are you just dry, or is it just dropped on? It doesn't brush. No. After a while, it becomes, it gets kind of messy. I, it's not just oil that I'm using. I have my secret formula. It's not that secret. But it's just, um, I use this really good grade of turpentine. It's this very kind of, very, 
It's not very expensive, but it is expensive more than regular turpentine and, a and wax. There's a little bit of wax in it. Um, so, and that gives a, you know, I do it even without thinking now, but when I mix the colors, it, it's, it's like I know what I, with the consistency. But it could go both ways. It could get too watery or it starts dragging too much. So it just depends on what you want to do. You know? Yeah, I'm dying to make a really big painting, but this is as big as I could really get in the studio that I was in right now, uh, was this big. So, and this is very exciting to work on this scale. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't. I. It's. It starts with proposals, like like, what if, you know, like what if it was this or, how does this gray work with it? You know, is this a, like a you know a brownish gray, or like a, a more amber gray or and, and I, no, I don't like that. Then it it just it starts off just like a bunch of, I think, like what ifs, and what if it was this, and no, there's no. Actually, I get into trouble when there is a system. You know, I find like it's, you know, um, I like that it is just kind of, that I'm catching myself off guard, sort of, you know. Uh, is your canvas on the floor? No, no. no. Because some of it almost looks like drips in a way. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because it doesn't look so much like brush strokes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, I work them on the wall. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What is it more exciting to work on a large scale than small scale? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't say more, more exciting, but, well, maybe. Um, it's just more physical, and it's just, it, I feel, uh, and more challenging as well. I feel, you know, working, I mean, sometimes, sometimes I'll be working on a drawing this big that might take actually as long as working on a painting that big. You know, it's, it's, uh, one is, well, that, I'm sorry, that's a lie. That's never actually happened. <laughs> the drawings will go a little faster. The paintings are, they do take a lot longer. But, uh, but they do take a long time. Uh, and I don't know, I think it's just physical. It's, it's part of, in a way, like real space. You know, you're moving in real space. When you have a piece, you know, this big or, you know, it's, it's more... I mean, it's real space, but it's more like an illusion space in a way. There's, there's an, um, was, was the environment what made you change the, like, the colors? Uh, was it your, your previous painting? Like you said, yeah, very, very definitely. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think Ireland had a really. It made me look at maybe some subtleties that I wasn't maybe paying as much attention to in West Texas. And the great thing was that I was there last summer for three months and I had a small studio working there. And I did, the th four drawings are all made there. And then the great coincidence is that I had the residency here at Central Track that started literally like a week and a half after I got back from Ireland. So I, I had already started the work in Ireland and I just came and I just continued for, you know, even though I was here, I was kind of um, using the drawings as a basis for like the next work. There was something happening in them that I was very excited about and wanted also to translate into paintings because I hadn't painted in many months. It was just drawings. So, um, 
so I, want, I was anxious to see how that was going to translate to paintings, you know. Um, so, so it was great, you know. Huh? What are you drawing? It's uh, it gouache and brushes, yeah. And, and what's the order of the paintings? Uh, the, the earliest painting is Karst, which is the one down there. Uh, yeah, on that wall, the far wall. On the left side of the doorway. Yeah, on this side of the doorway. Yeah, that. And the last painting is actually this small one here. Um, and they went, that painting over there was um, actually important to everything that came afterward. I thought it was. Uh, it was very different than what I was used to working, and I got very excited about that because that's what I was anxious for, like a, a different way of approaching my own work. And that facilitated it, that one, yeah. And that's why it's called Rubicon, you know, because it, it's like crossing the Rubicon. Um, and then, yeah, then it was that one, then, well, that one. And these are numbered, one, two, three. Uh, one is the far one. This is two, and then that's three. So. And I, I guess I think that mainly peers paint themselves, and that's kind of what you're describing. How you came about it, how you did it, and what it reflects to you. But the interesting to hear anybody in the audience answer the question, what, what does this do for them? And what, and what oh, seeing them, yeah. What, 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 yeah. If I anything, see, I, see a, I see a struggle to organize. But it's sort of, it's sort of disorganized, disorganized attempt to or, put some organization into it. You talk about the blocks over here. You talk about the Roman numerals. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just uh, to, to me, it, it, it's. It's, you know, it's kind of, I don't know what the, I don't know what the right word, I was going to say crazy, that's not what I'm going to say, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's sort of, yeah, it was, it's, it goes one way and it's all of a sudden, it looks like to me, like somebody is changing his mind a lot, and as you went along, you, you described the life of guy that way, and you described Ireland that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's certain people, I'm the kind of guy that, you put me three months in a place with no people, I guess it was a telephone to talk to Patrick, but that drive me nuts. I mean, I, I couldn't stand the isolation, you know. Mm -hmm. But obviously, it was a great benefit to you. But I'd like to hear what our people, what our, how our people feel about your work. So, yeah. I mean, as was paid, you, you pay for yourself, but you, you know, you're obviously, you, you want to sell pictures, you know. So, Maybe mm -hmm. I hear more than they in a different way. I don't know if I just like, yeah. and explain it very well. Yeah. Like, like, poetry. 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 Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have room for, for the drawings, so yeah. Yeah, those definitely are. But those drawings I did here, you're talking about the smaller drawings that are maybe that big? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are, those are all part of the same group, um, yeah, that I, that I did here, definitely, yeah. Hermit Cipher. Is everything you do, is it, everything you do is one-offs, or do you do more of this? No, uh, the, yeah, no, they're all, you know, I've tried to work on more than one painting uh, at, at once, because I, you know, that'd be more efficient, and, fast, and I can't, and I can't, I just get so, whether it's a, draw, a small drawing or a large painting, it's just that, you know, um, yeah. So they are, yeah, they're all. Is there any reference to writing, to poetry? I know you write as numbers, but 
Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not. I'm not actually. I wouldn't say that I'm actually writing anything or or like that. But I'm very interested in calligraphy. You know, um, and all different kinds of calligraphy. And so I think maybe part of it does work through there. I mean, sometimes in some paintings more than others. Uh, I think I'm more interested in, in the human mark, like a, a, a mark as, as, as a statement of, I don't know, presence or of communication or just literally like, just like a mark, you know? Um, and it, it manifests itself in, in maybe, you know, writing or there's maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's so much going on in that painting. When do you know it's finished? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the trick. That's a million dollar question. Uh, there's there's something happening that's beyond me that that I can't explain. You know that. Um, Something start, yeah. You you set these things in motion, and they just kind of start taking off, and then it, then you you know. Um, it, they're all. It's to me, it's self evident when some you know it it, it's, it feels done. It just feels like, you know, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.